Watch Jungle Beat the movie right now. Just click the link in the description box below. So the, the Jungle Beat movie to me, um, pause, clap, retake, reset, fluff. <laughs> What I love about Jungle Beat is it's innocent, good-natured fun. And so I was really inspired to make a movie that at heart was genuine and sincere, that encouraged kids to see the best in people. I am a father of four. Uh, I've got four kids of different ages and we love to watch movies together and it's tricky to find something that that reaches all of us that's not too scary for our youngest that engages my wife and myself and also our older kids and so with the jungle beat movie i wanted to create something that we could watch and that families like us could watch the jungle beat started out as a series of five minute animated shorts um, they were all very simple there was only ever one animal in every episode, and there was never any dialogue. Do you remember when kids were kids and you used to play outside and get muddy feet, and, and that's what Jungle Beat the show is. But it was always created with the sense of excitement and fun. There was always the sense of, what can we do with this? In every season, the quality got better, the animation got better, the writing got sharper. It was only a matter of time before someone said, can we make a movie? When I was thinking about what story to tell, the Jungle Beat animals have never spoken before. And it was something that I really wrestled with. And it just felt like I'd have much more room if they could talk. But it was important to me that there, there was a story reason that they talked. Oh man, there's none left for me. The fans out there who do know the brand, they're gonna be surprised that our animals can talk. And by the way, our animals are also surprised that they can talk. They've never done it before. <laughs> I can talk! This is amazing! Ooh, nice word! And that was actually the start of what led me down um, thinking about aliens and all the like, because I was like, okay, what could justifiably make an animal talk? Told you you'd freak out. <laughs> uh, and that was really the launching point for the story. I love the fact that it's motivated by something in their world and that's the thing that sort of launches them on this journey of discovery and friendship and I, I really I can't wait for the world to see it. We started in the jungle, we took it into space. I don't know where we can take it for the sequel. I just know that whatever happens next it's going to be big. Please don't throw me again. What I love about Jungle Beat is it's innocent, good-natured fun. The Jungle Beat movie was predominantly made across three different countries. It was uh, based in Mauritius, and we had a studio in Cape Town, and one uh, in Indonesia. What's wonderful in this day and age is, with the way communication is, we're, we're able to do this. So, finishing a film during lockdown was interesting. By day one of lockdown, everybody was working from home. Everyone had their machine set up. Everyone was able to remote access everything at the studio. People were going a little bit stir crazy during the lockdown. So one day, one of the artists sent out a video, which was a challenge. Mm. The lemon flower mm. challenge was so much fun, you know. And to me, that, that's really the essence of Jungle Beat. That kind of stuff really helps you feel like family. Mm, lovely. <laughs> It's not just about the work, it's about the people, and that's actually the most important thing. Matilda, do you want to do it? No. What was amazing about this project was that people really believed in it. They all bought into it, and they all loved it, and therefore brought their own ideas, their own passion, and their own drive to it. And so, even though we were in different countries and different places, it really felt like we were all working together, all pulling in the same direction. And I think the end result really speaks for itself. Um, I, I couldn't be more pleased and couldn't be more proud with, with what we ended up making. That's a good one. I didn't see that coming. Oh, just do it already. <laughs> Over to you. 
Jungle Beat has always been African animals. There's a monkey, there's an elephant, they're friends, everyone gets along, and they just have playful, innocent fun. Things better. Oh, excuse me. Rocking elephant! In the Jungle Beat movie, aliens have come to the jungle, and that's why the animals can speak, because of the alien translating technology. This makes us talk? Yes. Creating alien characters gave us a, a unique new challenge and one that we really love. And the challenge there was to get the cute, squishy appeal that fits within the Jungle Beat world into these aliens. Oh boy. One of the defining moments for the design of the characters was deciding to give them one eyeball, which sounds quite freaky, but putting two irises on the one plane just set them apart slightly. The art team spent a long time designing everything about the alien species, how their spaceships looked, how their technology looked. I did a few sketches, like about, you can say almost about 20 of them, various shapes. Brent ended up um, loving G, and G had the, the shape of a crescent. One of the spaceship designs was a, a, a crescent shape, like this. The director really loved that, because uh, in a way it reminded him of a hug. We decided to take that uh, crescent shape into every single asset, you know, um, as a starting point. And we even developed a language to go with that as well. The Skuldronian font is all crescents and, and dots. Uh -huh. You can totally read the, the Skuldronian language if you know the symbol and what letter it's uh, assigned to. Okay, well I guess this is it then. The um, moment. Fnip was such an awesome character to work with. I love the tentacles, I love the, the jelly appearance with the glitter. Yeah, it was cool, it was fun. Finding Fnip was one thing, but then also trying to find the big scary alien leader was another because he also needed to have a softness and an appeal that young kids would not be scared of, but they would still have this authority and weight to him. I didn't have a picture of who Grogan was in, in, in my head until I heard the voice. I am Grogan the Conqueror! He just sounded, I don't know if this is possible, but it sounded as though he had a moustache. That's what I tried to show in the sketch. Jungle Beat, it's a sort of show that parents can turn on and let their kids just watch it without them having to worry about negative messages or scary things or what have you. He seemed nice. I wonder why our... It's just good old-fashioned, innocent fun. Uh, yeah, four. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>